Late last night, a 13-year-old Border Terrier was hit by a car in the practice car park and suffered life-threatening injuries. Good girl. Sorry, baby. Everyone is in shock because it's Noel's beloved dog, Kira. I was leaving the practice like I always do. I never have her on a lead between the back door and the car. And I've done it thousands of times. I held the door open and then a car came speeding from the left. It was going too fast. And he wouldn't stop, he didn't see me. It all happened in less than two seconds. Booby, Booby, it's me, it's me. Booby, it's me. Kira is in a critical condition with a smashed pelvis and possible abdominal damage. I love you, Booby. No one knows if she'll pull through. And the vet known for finding solutions for even the most complex challenges. Daddy's here. It's okay. No, 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 no. Must face the fact that his own dog may not be fixable. Quite distressed, we just wanted to, to be a bit calmer. Okay. She just responds quite yeah. dramatically to your voice. Noel's colleague Porig was one of the first people on the scene when Kira was rushed into the practice last night. Over the first few seconds, I didn't really know what to do. No, 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 no. I, it's, it's me, baby. We're used to dealing with emergency situations, but because Kira's one of our own, and Noel was so upset, it affects all of us. It's okay, Boopy. It's okay. We had a full team of vets ready with everything needed to start a resuscitation. Okay. If it came to that. Okay. Then you have to just do the job that needs doing. Kira is a patient. She's no longer Kira that trots around the practice. She's Kira that needs her life saving. I know that unless we act quickly, she's going to die. CT and ultrasound scans show that Kira's pelvis and sacrum have been crushed, her hip dislocated, and she may have abdominal damage. She was really quiet and not very responsive. The team know there's the likelihood that she has further injuries that they can't yet see. When an accident comes in, it's not always obvious what the problem is. It's almost like you have a puzzle and you have to put the pieces together. We didn't know if there was a major organ compromise or a major bleed that could actually take her life in a matter of minutes. Noel fixes things, that's what he does every day. He comes to work and he fixes things and he wanted to fix it. I wanted to be there as a vet, I wanted to be there as a dad, but I couldn't help because I wasn't thinking straight. He could not make good decisions. So I had to ask him to leave. He's all right. Should I start love? For somebody who's always in control of the situation, and always making the decisions of life and death. That was tough, yeah. This place was built for our heart. And now, I just hope that the team will save our life. Call came to say that Noel's dog's been hit by a car and she needs to come across. Everyone was kind of on tent hooks as soon as we heard, because you don't really know what you're going to see when she arrives. The urine leaking into Kira's abdomen is causing her to go downhill fast. 
Urine is not meant to be in the body. The body has a very sophisticated mechanism for getting rid of toxic wastes. When it's outside those organs, the body's not getting rid of those toxins. So we have a patient who is becoming profoundly sick. I could see it in her eyes. She was on the way out for sure. I reckon that she would have died within a couple of hours. The team runs CT control studies of the urinary system and the bladder. By putting dye into her bloodstream and then into the bladder itself, they can track it and locate the leak. Thankfully, the kidneys and both of her ureters were OK. But there was a very obvious leak coming from the bladder. Urine was just flowing into her abdominal cavity. To have any chance of surviving, Kira needs emergency surgery. I needed to make a decision whether it was ethically right to keep going with a 13-year-old dog, or should we let her pass peacefully away? It did feel more tense than normal, because he is the boss. Noel wanted to come in and, and observe what we found uh, during surgery, and it was clearly pretty tough for him to see what was going on. <laughs> Coming from primary care, you see cases like this, and normally they don't tend to have great prognosis. You know, the older they are, the more the longer it takes them to recover and the riskier it is for them to, to pull through. I love you, Poopy. If she makes it through the next few days, the team will be able to consider the major pelvis operation that is planned for her to allow her to walk again. I just hope she knows I'm here. Just over a week since the car accident that shattered her pelvis and sacrum... Off we go. Kira's custom-made implant is ready. All right, Boopy, good girl. Good girl, it's OK. And Noel is about to attempt the most emotionally challenging operation of his life. Good girl. It's going to be fine, sweetheart. It's going to be fine. Although it's something that I do every day, it's Kira and that changes everything that I'm thinking because I'm picking up a scalpel blade on my baby. Kira's on her way and I'm worried. I'm worried about Kira. I'm worried about Noel. He's got to perform. And I'm worried about the team. They know how important Kira is to Noel. Kira is important to them and it adds a lot of pressure. Morning. Hello, Kira. Morning. Hey, Kira. Morning. Hey, little Good. one. Good to see you. You're looking a lot better. What's our plan? It's over to you. We'll give her a little epidural and crack on. Yeah. Now, her ultimate survival and function rests on my shoulders, and my shoulders alone, really. I'll go prepare my head when you guys get the rats. Yeah. I'm afraid. But I've got to manage the fear, that's it. So I've got to switch off part of my brain now and become a surgeon. I've got to try not to think about her as my baby. I've got to try and go into battle and do my job. Are you ready for this? I think so. Small I think she'll be a lot happier now that she's got a solid hip. All right, missus, off to x-ray, please. Good girl. Kira can finally leave theatre. Well done, Boop. Good girl. Thank you, everybody. The presents are in the post. So I've done my best. Let's hope I, my best is good enough. I had prepared for 30 years 
for that moment to step up to the plate and take the shot. And it's her kennel ready. <laughs> VIP. I was really glad it was me. It's me, poopy, steady. Kira's age and previous trauma make her a higher risk patient. She's by no means out of the woods because there are so many factors at play here. Good cat, don't, don't get upset, it's okay. It's okay, baby, it's okay. Her recovery will take some time. No, you go. No, you. You're not going to make Daddy get in. Hello, everybody. I'm having my hydrotherapy today. I'm getting stronger all the time. Despite Noel's concerns... That's it. Good girl. Over the last few months, Kira has slowly been recovering nerve function and building up her weakened muscles. <gasps> you love gravy bones. Come on. It's like suddenly the whole weight of the world has been lifted off my shoulders, you know. 